Here we go, Auto World 164 Premium 2017, release four, two cases of A, two cases of B, provided by round two. Thank you very much. And to you viewers, thank you for uh, tuning in to another Ray Screws unboxing video. As long as I uh, get the spot here, hello. Auto World Premium Diecast. Let's see what we have here. Here's the 2011 Chevy Camaro in black. <laughs> uh, looks like the same decorations as a uh, Mustang, 2017 Mustang. I think it's from the Auto World lineup. Could be from uh, one of the other round two brands. I'm not sure. Could be mistaken, but pretty sure there was a Mustang. The 2017 Mustang was black and silver decorations. What do you think of the wheels? look all right i like these wheels better and i love this car right here really really love this car uh, i like to collect it from all the brands 1971 ford mustang mach 1 yeah i like to collect this one for sure it's kind of interesting for a mustang kind of a long body opening hood this one uh, it might be opening we'll check it out when we get to that i'll be opening up one of the sets now, Auto World, they have um, Ultra Reds. All of a sudden, I see white. I go, White Lightning. Oh, wrong brand. <laughs> Johnny Lightning has the White Lightnings. Besides, it's ma matching the card art. So, uh, if most of the time, if that's the case, then it is not a chase piece. Wow. Really, really like this one. And it does have two tone paint. It has a, the upholstery on the inside. You can see it's red and white. Pretty cool like those fins mm -mm, Plymouth Velvedere in white I wonder what the alternate color is going to be in the B case assortment oh yeah 1964 Plymouth Barracuda I think this one was in the, in the last case as well release three I get confused because they have so many brands so, uh, but I definitely remember Barracuda because it has that window in the back that's curved let's see what we have here one of 2,500 pieces, starting to increase the production quantity a little bit, which uh, tells me that they must be selling okay, then if they can feel that they can move that many pieces. Here you have the 1966 Mercury Comet Cyclone GT. And in green, we have the 1974 Dodge Challenger Rally. I don't think you pronounce it any difference because it has the E. It's not like Rally E or anything. Rally E? I don't think so. Pretty dark green. 1974 Dodge Challenger Rally. Says it on the side too. Must be, a, must be correct. Pretty dark, dark, dark green. Let's see what we have in the other case. A case. I already know that that uh, Mustang, the 71 Mustang, that's, uh, that's, that's already my pick of the litter. I'm going to like uh, both the colors. It's just a casting I like to collect. Everybody, everybody has their favorites. That's definitely going to be my favorite. I do li like this one. I do like the wheels on this one, that's for sure. We'll just go through this a little faster since it's the same cars. We're just hoping now we get a chase piece. Uh oh, white, 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 white. I told you it's the wrong, wrong brand already. And green. And the last one. It's kind of dark. Doesn't look red though. It's that black one. That black Chevy that's trying to mimic the 2017 Mustang. 2011 Chevy Camaro. And not one of my favorite body styles. Here we go. B case. Same six models, but. Uh, It'll be uh, version B colors. What was the production quantity on the other one? 2,500 pieces on A. Lately, they've been doing the same amount. But early on when, uh, uh, you know, a couple years ago, they weren't, uh, looks better in white. Early on, uh, they weren't necessarily doing the same production quantity with the A and B case assortments. Get my papers out of the way. This looks a little more familiar. 
when it's in all in black like that other one, it's kind of hard to see the body contours. Well, it, it is for me anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Yep, that's my favorite. Got a case already. I haven't even opened it up yet. I already know. So in green now, we have the Belvedere. That's going to be my number two. I do like the uh, curved window in the back of the Barracuda. It's pretty cool. Here you have the Comet Cyclone. That's pretty good wheels too as well. Yeah, that's a pretty nice blue, huh? And here we go. Six pieces of uh, the second case, alternate color B. White again. And in case you didn't know, it says down here, version B. And it's 2017, premium series, release four. No chases. Chases are really, really limited with the brands. And besides, it's already limited as it is, 2,500 pieces. You know, Mattel makes her super treasure hunts. I'm sure they're in the tens of thousands. And here, look, the regular production run is 2,500. Much more limited, better quality die casts, rubber tires, metal base, opening features, and with the Auto World, true 164 scale. And here you go, Cyclone. And last but not least, red, ultra red is their uh, chase piece, but they, they also have ultra raw. So if you have one that's just the raw metal, oh, that's a good one. Okay, let me pick, this, pick a set to open up. Of course, I'm gonna start with the Mustang Mach 1. Oh yeah, I love this car. What, you want me to start with another car? Want me to start with your favorite? Well, for your videos, you could start with your favorite. For me, I decided to start with my favorite this time. Nice details in the front. And since it's my favorite, I went ahead and opened them both up. Both have the same decoration, same paint styles. I'll get a close up in the, uh, on the license plate in just a moment. This one has Mach 1 on the side. Yep, so does the other one as well. Looking good. Two silver stripes. Turn signal markers. By the way, this is a uh, plastic insert for the spoiler. This piece here is, a, I do believe it is plastic. I got it to bend just a second ago. I don't think it was my fingernail. I think I did get it to bend. Both appear to have CJ0429 as the license plate. And let's go ahead and get back to the side. Metal base, detailed metal base, rubber tires, nice tread, Firestone on this one, mm, Firestone as well. Let's check the engine. Here we have a uh, black with a blue air cleaner. And uh, same, mm, appears to be the same on this one. Let me get my thumb out of the way so I can get better light in there. There you go. And the other one as well. Green interior to go with the green paint. And this one, uh, black interior. 2011 Chevy Camaro. I don't know about the wheels though. Kind of a stand out, a little blingy. Maybe they're all right. The interior is, looks like it's solid red. I don't see any printing on it. There's the uh, recognizable nose of the Camaro does have an opening hood. I'll come back to that. Side markers, door handles, license plate. Looks like it says 50. Sure enough, it's the 50 logo celebrating 50 years of Camaro. Uh, I see lines, but I don't think that, uh, I don't think this opens. Nope. There's a close-up of the wheels. Here's your detailed metal base. Close enough for you. There's your Auto World logo. Screws. You want to strip it? You don't like the white? The white? You can strip it and do your own color if you'd like. Here's a look at the detailed engine. Uh, take a good look because <laughs> this one is uh, tricky to get this hood to open. 
the, the hoods, when they're inset to the bodies, uh, really, really hard to open up. So there you go. Get your arm out of the way of the light and you get better video. How's that? When the hoods are tucked in like this, you can't get a grip. <laughs> it's really hard to get these ones open. By the way, it has red seats and a black interior. You can see the black dashboard, black steering wheel, black center console. So it does have multiple colors on the inside. Definitely makes it uh, nicer. 1964 Plymouth Barracuda. There's that uh, curved rear window that I was talking about. I wonder how expensive it was to replace those windows in case they got busted. You would think it'd be more expensive because it's specialized. Mm, I don't know. I'm not in the automotive industry. Couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. Detailed metal engine. Separate piece for the air cleaner, it appears to be. Radiator. You can see in black. Oh, yeah. That's why I remember this now looking at that because it was that silver piece right there. I like the grill. And the license plate. The license plate says retired one. There you go. Nice, uh, nice tiny imprints. Very nice. Detailed metal base, rubber tires. It looks like the interior is a solid black. 1974 Dodge Challenger Rally. Love the color, love the black top, love the wheels, white interior, and <laughs> just overall makes it pop. Uh, black steering wheel, and I see a black dash as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the license plate. Three, two, one, go. I guess that's better than said, go. <laughs> that's just what I like to say for my track time videos. I know it irritates people. I hate when you say that. Well, you know, what can you say? Everybody has their own way of doing things, and I have my own as well. Opening hood, multi-piece engine. There's uh, similar details to that, uh, what was it, Belvedere? I forgot. There's the rubber tires, a close-up. Mm, I think it says, uh, can't read it, sorry. And there's your rubber tires and metal base. Yep, this one's a contender for me as well. Pretty good batch, as a matter of fact. Barracuda, that's the car I was thinking of, not uh, Belvedere. I had no idea what I was thinking. There you go, opening hood. A good look at the engine. Well, we, we can angle it to see a little better. There you go, that's better. Hey, we have a blue part in the front this time. And the license plate, 390 GT. I believe that's what it says. Love this, love this style. Boxy. I don't know what the official term is, but it's just, uh, it's just bulky and it's square. Yeah, I like this. This is a pretty cool looking car. Love the tires. Looks good with the white interior. The second one, right? Let's take a look at the uh, detailed base. For your car, guys. I know you guys like to see the base as well. Rubber tires. Skinny rubber tires. Yep. I like that one. Here's the Belvedere. No wonder I had Belvedere on my mind. But I was thinking about the rear window of the uh, Barracuda. 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. Love those fans. White roof, nice trim, window trim around everything. And in a, in a recent uh, unboxing video, I was trying to remember one of the series that Johnny Lightning did that I hoped that they would bring back. I think maybe they did. Uh, I think that Johnny Lightning series was called Classic Chrome, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe that's what they're doing. They're just bringing the classics black, 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 black in different lines. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the engine. This one looks like it's gold. Two barrel carburetor, uh, you know, a thingamajig. Sorry. <laughs> I only know basic parts. Hey, there's the battery. I think that's a battery. <laughs> and the license plate it says Belvedere. There's a look at the base and you can see some tread on the tires. Chrome hub, white wall. Yeah, uh, I only didn't particularly care for one car in this batch. While I like how they colored the seats and had a black interior, uh, the Camaro, it's just not exactly something for me. The other four, yeah, 
course, you know, <laughs> you know which one out of the four is my favorite. Number one, number two, this one's going to squeak into number three. Love the color, the interior, the wheels. And this one, uh, this one here is going to be number four for me. And number five, and that leaves the Camaro number six. What were your rankings? Thank you for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.